never thought that I would see this day come. I'm still in shock. Kathleen Kennedy finally admits that they failed. It only took them seven garbage movies, a bunch of TV crap shows, for her to admit this shit. So, in this Vanity Fair article that she did, she's uh, admitting defeat on here and going on about um, that solo movie that she claims that she learned from it, but she didn't learn shit from that movie. Solo is a pile of shit with a robot trying to have sex or something. It was fucking garbage. Absolute shit. Just a shit movie. And the guy that played, um, yeah, let me, the, you mean to tell me that you think this is Han Solo? This guy looks nothing like Harrison Ford. You know, there's a, a fan film movie with a guy that looks identical to a young Harrison Ford. Why they didn't cast him, and they cast this, this guy just... I mean, look, he's probably a nice person in real life, and he needs more acting experience, but this was god-awful. It was just a pile of shit. And she claims... That she learned from this. What is it that she thinks she learned? Because let me tell you, uh, all of those sequel trilogies, th this garbage right here with this bitch, are just shit, absolute shit. All of this, they fucked this poor guy out. John Boyega, I thought, was the real star of, the, of these trilogies. He was way better than all of this and the guy from Moon Knight and all of this. It, it, those trilogies, I, I could make an entire video going on for months about how bad this shit was. So, her saying that she'd learned something from this is total bullshit. The only thing she seemed to have learned was to be more woke. And look how this turned out. I'm so happy this happened, man. I just, I can't tell you how happy I am about this. Far Left Vanity Fair published a 90 gazillion word bootlick to Disney Star Wars franchise that eventually sputters to a close with the only information that matters. As a film franchise, Star Wars is dead. So this is what Kathleen's saying on here. We have a roadmap. No, they had no roadmap. There was no fucking roadmap. They had no Tom Tom. They didn't use their phones, nothing. They had no idea where the fuck they were going. Those movies, they, they don't connect together. They're all over the place. Just absolute shit. We have a roadmap, producer Kathleen Kennedy says. Although Lucasfilm's Big screen return is unlikely to follow the same relentless cadence as before. A movie from Jojo Rabbit's Taco Ratiti, a 1917 screenwriter, Kirsty Wilson Carnes, will likely or what right first. Okay. So, this Taco Ratiti guy is getting ready to ruin Thor. You see the pictures with the female Thor and that idiot Valkyrie bitch. Uh... That movie is going to tank horribly, and she's hiring this idiot to make a Star Wars movie. Now, uh, the Wonder Woman gal, she she's actually decent. the the first The first Wonder Woman movie was was okay. That second one was, ooh, that was god awful. She says, Kathleen Kennedy says, but right now there isn't anything specifically. And the trilogy from The Last Jedi's Rian Johnson that was announced five years ago backburnered. <laughs> the emphasis on television is already influencing the upcoming film slate. I hesitate to use the words trilogies anymore because Star Wars is much more about persistent storytelling, Kennedy says. Now she just needs to recruit future filmmakers. Imagine 
imagine that? You're giving, you're given a golden franchise on a platter from George Lucas, and you reduce it down to TV shows. That's how horrifically bad this went. They they had no no fucking schedule. Upcoming film slate. There's nothing on the schedule. Ideas on a whiteboard are not an upcoming film slate. Taco Watiti has one movie to complete and two more to direct before Star Wars show. Patty Jenkins put her Star Wars movie on hold to make Wonder Woman 3, which isn't scheduled to start filming until next year. Of all the film tr franchises that seemed inexhaustible, not only as far as the public's desire for more, but the creative possibilities... George Lucas's Endless Galaxy. Star Wars would have been the last. I would have chosen to fail. And let us not forget that Kathleen Kennedy's original goal was to release one or two Star Wars movies each and every year. The idea was to do with Star Wars what was being done with Marvel. We were promised that all these Star Wars films were in the works. All of these titles. All these sexy ideas. We were going to be buried in prequels, sequels, reboots, spin-offs. Star Wars was going to be a money printing machine, the golden goose of all cinematic golden goose, and then it all went to shit. Why? One word, woke. Yeah. That is the biggest problem with this shit. You know, I, I could go on for years about this, okay? They screwed over this poor guy. This, this gal, I mean... Look, Daisy Ridley is probably a nice person in real life, but she can't act for shit. Her, her, her acting sucks. I saw, I've saw, i seen her in other movies. She's just mediocre at best. You know who they should have cast as Rey is the wife on Sons of Anarchy. That's who should have been Rey, if at all. But if you're really going to do this right, you'd scrap all of this bullshit and go with the EU. But no. Wham in power, and all these men are secondary to her, and all this, and, ugh. I just couldn't imagine being given a franchise like this, and you just run it into the ground this badly. I couldn't be happier. So there you have it, people. The future of Star Wars is TV shows. Mediocre... TV shows where we have people like Boba Fett being a guest star and cameoing in his own show and apologizing to Sand People. And then we have the Mando. The, the Mando was decent. I, I won't say much bad about that. But the problem with the Mando was they made Mando stupid on there. I mean, come on. That episode where they're on that boat and that guy's like, you ever seen one of these sharks? And it's like, come over here, take a look at it. And I, and I mean, even a two-year-old watching that would know that was a trap. But no, Mando walks over there and goes, oh, what's this? And he gets knocked into the thing. And they're trying to take the kid and all. I mean, come on, man. It's just a clumsy Boba Fett guy with the kid is their biggest success. Not... The force is female horse shit. I, I could talk about this for years, man. I just... I'm just so excited that she admitted defeat today, man. This was the worst possible PR move besides what Johnny Depp and Amber Heard are doing. You, you go and announce... <laughs> you go and announce that Star Wars is moving to TV. <laughs> At least Rhea Johnson's prep got canceled. Imagine if we had those movies. You think those prequels, those, those sequel trilogies suck. Imagine the crap he would have made. Why, why did she pick these god-awful actors? Why doesn't she get Lucas to do these things? Or let Lucas do what he wants? It's all this whammin' bullshit garbage woke shit. Oh, man. 
I just, I'm just so excited about this, man. I mean, Kathleen Kennedy says they learned from Solo, a Star Wars story, that getting a new actor to replicate any of the OG characters is near impossible. Now it does seem so abundantly clear that we can't do that. Oh, you think? You know, you could have done it, you stupid bitch, but the problem is you choose this. I mean, come on, this looks nothing like Han Solo at all. Are you kidding me? All you had to do was hire that guy from the fan film that looked exactly like him. But no, we can't do that. We've got to have him fighting with uh, Lando and Lan and a robot wants to bang the, the Falcon and all this stupid bullshit. Just stupid fucking bullshit, man. Look at this. This is... This is your future of Star Wars. Wow. Diego Luna describes Andor as a refugee story. It's the journey of a migrant. Oh, just what we wanted to see. The story begins with the destruction of Andor's birth world, then follows him to adulthood. You gotta be kidding me, man. What a fucking joke. This shit really is dead, man. A new look at Obi-Wan, Reva, and Darth Vader. Yeah, this is what we need. I wanted, I wanted a movie about Obi-Wan and Vader or a show, not a show about BLM bullshit and some stupid bitch between them. Why is she even here? This is so stupid. These people just do not learn, man. Why is Mando there? Oh, that's for that picture they took. I was going to say, is Mando on that Obi-Wan show? Hidden Christensen dueling with the... Kathleen Kennedy confirms Rian Johnson's Star Wars trilogy is still in the works. It's on the back burner. Yeah, it's fucking toast. <laughs> Just stay out of Star Wars, roundhead, you fuck. <laughs> John Watts is confirmed to be developing a Star Wars series set after Return of the Jedi. The series is described within Lucasfilm as a galactic version of classic Amblin coming of age adventure of the 80s. <sighs> wow. I tell you, man. It's so sad. The rebellion will be televised because we can't make mo money in theaters anymore because of stupid bullshit. These, this fucking bitch, man, she took down this whole thing. I just cannot believe this, man. One person took down a whole franchise. Nothing but woke bullshit. Oh, there you go, people. <laughs> this this is why we need to hold the course here and not give Disney money or do any of this. She's practically begging you to watch this shit now. That's what she's doing. What's this? Ewan McGregor confirms Mary Elizabeth Winstead will star in Ashoka. First look at Echo. I don't know what the hell that is. Or Disney horse shit. Well, the Empire has fallen. I just hope that Disney goes bankrupt and Lucas gets the rights back to this. This this shit is just just fucked. This is this whole article thing. I can't go through all of this. This, this is just...
Look at this. Well, George Lucas himself had attempted and abandoned a live action Star Wars series. Oh yeah, I remember seeing the footage for that. He, he probably would have done a better show than all of them combined. Book of Boba Fett. That Book of Boba Fett was shit. First up, Ewan's McGregor turns around. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to uh, Obi-Wan getting cucked. This is what you have, this mental illness with these fucking people. So we got Obi-Wan being cucked, and then we got Mando, which I don't know, and then we got Andor with some loser immigrant story that they're going to, I know what they're going to do with that. They're going to make it about the border, and they're going to have some uh, warlord guy on their planet that looks like Trump or some bullshit. And these people just, well... Death to uh, Star Wars, death to Disney, die. You dumpster fire piece of shit get fucked. I, I could not be happy that this happened today. I wonder how much their stock died because of this. To come out and admit defeat and say the greatest franchise in history is reduced to TV shows. Just imagine that. Just imagine the, that, and the, and she's talking like it's a good thing and all this. You stupid bitch, man. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.